Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad first round 2016 problem number one. Are there three distinct real numbers a, b and c such that exactly two of the fractions b plus c over b squared plus bc plus c squared, c plus a over c squared plus c a plus a squared, and a plus b over a squared plus a b plus b squared, exactly two of these numbers should be equal. Are there such numbers a, b, and c distinct? So here are my hints for this problem, or just one hint. Show that, well, for example, if the first fraction equals the second fraction, show that this is equivalent to an equation which is symmetric with respect to a, b, and c. Which means that similar things by symmetry can be done with other equations. So give this problem a try. All right. So maybe it should be obvious, but let's maybe write it that since, since a is not equal b, b is not equal c and c is not equal a, our fractions actually make sense. Makes, make sense. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean by that that the denominators are not zero. Well, why is that, you may ask? Because uh, b squared plus bc plus c squared, by using the quadratic formula, it can be pretty easy to see that this is zero only in one case when both b and c are zero. But they cannot be both zero because the b and c are different. All right. And now let's notice that the following are equivalent. So the following equations are equivalent. For example, let's take our first equation. b plus c over b squared plus bc plus c squared equals c plus a over c squared plus ca plus a squared. Let's um, multiply by the denominators and we have b plus c, c squared plus ca plus a squared equals c plus a b squared plus bc plus c squared and now let's multiply everything so we have bc squared plus abc plus a squared b plus c cubed plus c squared a plus c a squared which equals which equals uh, and on the right hand side we have b squared c Mm. where was misplaced so b squared c plus b c squared plus c cubed plus a b squared plus a b c plus c squared a and now let's cancel what is possible so a b c a b c c cubed c cubed what else can be cancelled uh, well bc squared bc squared and one last thing which can be simplified is c squared a c squared a c squared a so we are well left with a squared b plus c a squared equals b squared c plus a b squared and now let's write it in the following way we have a squared b minus a b squared equals b squared c minus c a squared and now on the left hand side a, a b can be factored out so a b and we have a minus b and on the right hand side c can be factored and we have c squared minus a squared all right but this is equivalent to saying that c b minus a times b plus a equals the left hand side and now also I will do a trick instead of I will put minus right here and I will change the order in these parentheses with a minus b. And now crucial step since we assume that a, b and c are distinct we can cancel these parentheses so because a is not equal b. All right so we are left with a, b equals minus c, b 
minus BC rather, minus CA. And let's put everything on the left hand side, BC plus CA plus AB equals zero. So, notice that this is completely symmetric with respect to A, B, and C. And this is equivalent to the equality of the first two fractions. In this, in this very similarly, uh, similarly, because of symmetry, because of the complete symmetry, if I change, for example, C plus A, I will put a plus b, a squared plus a, b plus b squared. This is equivalent also to the very same equation. To b, c plus c, a plus a, b equals zero. And in turn, this is equivalent once again to the equality of first two fractions. Which closes our problem because this means that if two of the fractions are the same, the third is also the same. So the answer to our problem is no, there are no, no such numbers A, B, and C. No such A, B, and C, which are distinct. And and for which exactly two of the fractions are the same, are equal. And this closes our problem. There are no such numbers. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.